Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of February 15th. This week, you start off with the Queen of Clubs. Queen of Clubs represents uh, ca um, cancer, Leo, in a lot of ways, and, uh, you know, represents a fire sign, and it doesn't matter if you're a male. I don't attach sex to my cards, so that's that. Uh, but Queen of Clubs is all about thinking, being very thoughtful this week, probably being very uh, specific and deliberate with everything that you do, which there are a couple cards in the deck that represent that. But she's very smart, so definitely I think it's a week to just use your raw intelligence to get through things, to think about things, to plan things out. She's very good at planning for her goals as well. She doesn't just set a goal. She sets the goal and then figures out everything in between to get to that goal. And I mean, this is why a lot of people don't reach their goals is because they just set the goal and they don't figure out what needs to go on in between. So if you have any goals this week, definitely, uh, you know, plan the things in the middle, in between. Next, you have the Ace of Hearts. So feeling really good this week. This is a card of definitely like emotional happiness, more love coming in. Frequently, it's a very refreshing energy. I always say with this card, it's kind of like, um, you know, I always see this like heart melting with a fresh heart underneath. So it really brings in some like kind of refreshing new things to your life and allows you to kind of like maybe restart some things. And that's definitely a word that's popping up, like maybe restart some old projects or restart something you've been working on or what that you maybe left behind or something and, and try it again with this card. Next, you have the King of Diamonds coming up next. So... You know, I think a lot of you are stepping up into leadership positions. Leos, I mean, I mean, Leos are leaders, basically. And, you know, so a lot of you could be taking that on this week. But definitely don't get stuck in some, like, negative thinking. King of Diamonds, he can definitely be, like, a negative thinker sometimes, be a little bit too pessimistic. So try to stay more positive. Also, try to also, like, really use that Queen of Clubs in the beginning and think about things before you do them. The King of Diamonds, he can be very reactive and just make decisions, like, really quickly. And he, and he can ba base those decisions off of things like anger or, you know, whatever, what, however he's feeling. And so you don't want to do that with the King of Diamonds. You definitely want to make smarter decisions because the King of Diamonds represents, like, all these, like, you know, CEOs out there and stuff that, have made decisions in the past you know they're all like pretty much king of diamonds the ones that make have been very successful but then they make that one bad decision that kind of like causes the the you know snowball effect downhill in a bad way uh, so don't do that this week next you have the uh, six of diamonds planting a lot of seeds probably planting a lot of things out maybe even getting i'm hearing like getting a lot of new things so maybe like a lot of you who have businesses businesses and things maybe you're taking on like new products or something and uh, maybe if you're you're, you have a job. You could be taking on some new roles. Um, this is like planting a lot of seeds. It's also planning again for the future. Planning comes up a lot this week. So a lot of you could be looking at how you could take on more like leadership roles, new leadership roles, uh, anything like that with this card. And finally, you have the Queen of Spades planning. Planning is like a big message for you this week. Planning things out, looking to the future, and just planning how you're going to do everything. I would probably just only plan this week. Queen of Spades, she really kind of like takes that aerial view, the future view as well. She's like a visionary. She plans things out before she does them. And she also looks to the future and kind of says, you know what? My feeling is in the future, this is going to do this. And then, you know, that's how she makes her decisions based on the future. So you might want to be doing like a lot of future thinking and planning for the future uh, with this card but all in all definitely a week to plan uh, and a good week as well so enjoy it